Hey y'all, it's Chewy with Chewy Southern Adventures. Here we have a couple photos of Davy Crockett. This video is on the Davy Crockett birthplace in State Park, and we'll go into the life of Mr. Crockett. Starting off, he was born August 17, 1786 in Limestone, Tennessee. He died March 6, 1836 at the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. He represented Tennessee in the U.S. House of Representatives and served in the Texas Revolution. He is commonly known by his nickname, King of the Wild Frontier. Davy was born the son of John and Rebecca Crockett. John was one of the Overmountain men who fought in the Battle of Kings Mountain during the American Revolutionary War. Soon I'll cover the Overmountain men in the Battle of Kings Mountain, but for now I'll get back to Mr. Crockett. In 1806, he married Polly Finley. They remained married until her death in 1815. Now in 1815, he married Elizabeth Patton. They remained married until his death in 1836. Let's get into his legislative career a little bit. In 1817, Crockett moved his family to Lawrence County, Tennessee, where he first entered public office as a commissioner, helping to configure the new county's boundaries. On November 25th of the same year, the state legislator appointed him County Justice of the Peace. On March 27, 1818, he was elected Lieutenant Colonel of the 57th Regiment of the Tennessee Militia. By 1819, Crockett was operating multiple businesses in the area and felt his public responsibilities were beginning to consume so much of his time and energy that he had little left for family or business. So he resigned from Office of the Justice of the Peace and his position in the regiment in 1821. He resigned from his position as commissioner and was elected to a seat in the Tennessee General Assembly, representing Lawrence and Hickman counties. In 1827, he was elected into the U.S. House of Representatives. During his time in this position, he stood for numerous land bills and even opposed Andrew Jackson's Indian Removal Act of 1830. He remained in this position in Congress until August 1835, where he lost the election to Adam Huntsman. It was during his last term in Congress he collaborated with Kentucky Congressman Thomas Chilton to write his autobiography, which was published by E. L. Carey and A. Hart in 1834 as a narrative of the life of David Crockett written by himself. On November 1, 1835, Crockett left his home near Rutherford, Tennessee with three other men to explore Texas, as he wished to move there but feared a revolution was approaching. He arrived in Texas in early January 1836, and on January 14, he and 65 other men signed an oath before Judge John Forbes of the Provisional, Provisional Government of Texas, saying, I have taken the oath of government and have enrolled my name as a volunteer and will set out for the Rio Grande in a few days with the volunteers from the United States. Now each man that volunteered was promised 4,600 acres of land as payment. This led him to the Alamo. Now all that is certain of the fate of Mr. Crockett is that he died at the Alamo on the morning of March 6, 1836 at the age of 49. The David Crockett birthplace in State Park was then founded in 1973 and is open year-round. Now in the park are replicas of the Crockett Farm and the cabin that he was born in. There's also a campground with plenty of access to the Nullichucky River for fishing, rafting, and that sort of thing. There are live farm animals in the park and folks dressed in period clothing taking care of the animals in the fashion they would have been maintained back, in, back then. It's truly a great experience for the whole family. I would like to thank you all for watching this video and ask you to please like and subscribe as the content will only improve. Thank you all for tagging along with Chewy Southern Adventures. So what we have here is just some overall footage of the park. It's a beautiful, beautiful park. Very well maintained. Picnic pavilions. Uh, great access to the Nullichucky River. The water is nice and calm. Great for rafting. Here are some buildings on the park. This is a small cabin. Here are some of the farm animals, of course, hogs. The next photograph is actually a replica of the cabin Davy Crockett was born in. More of the animals on the, on the park. And this next photograph is the back half of that cabin in their first picture. Thank you all for watching. I really, truly appreciate it.